Hello everyone, with so many tools coming out every single day in the real estate and construction space, I thought it's probably the right time to talk about the specific use cases because the challenges and the reality right now is that you have massive companies innovating, building their own apps, but unfortunately, there's so many other use cases that are actually often forgotten. And I think it will be really good to highlight the very specific use cases. I have 10 of them for you today and talk about them in a bit of detail and actually even separate them into three specific groups. Because again, the reality right now is you have massive companies innovating and doing big stuff in the real estate and construction space. And unfortunately, you have a lot of you know small and medium sized businesses. I think they're kind of like waiting for probably investment or for that big, big AI opportunity to come by when the reality is you can actually get started today. And because even the McKinsey Global Institute estimates that generative AI can add additional 110 to 180 billion dollars in value that seems like a lot right so i do think it's important to talk about the specific use cases and i guess let's get going so group number one the first group is going to be really really simple see it as you know if you have just one week or two weeks and you want to get started you don't want to invest way too much but again you want something practical that actually obviously adds value to your business so number one is no code ai powered co-pilots and chat Bots. Now, when I was planning this video, I thought, let me actually talk about the specific tools. But as I was planning it, I understood, no, let's stick to the very specific use cases because if I try to, you know, promote a specific tool, I'm a bit worried that it might not fit your business specifically, your workflow and your operations. So no code, AI powered chatbots and co-pilots. Basically what this means, imagine if there's a chatbot that can serve as a 24 seven tenant assistant, maintenance requests, payment processing, and any other issues like that. You find a tool and then one by one, you structure the whole you know, future dialogue and all of your tenants could ask those questions and essentially talk to that bot. Simple words, it works like uploading data to a brain, right? You upload a PDF file and then the bot actually knows what to answer, how to answer. And it is kind of like a two way conversation where any of your tenants could find and ask any of the information. Super easy to build. There's so many tools out there. This can be definitely done, you know, under a thousand dollars takes around, I would say 20 to 30 hours to set it up, add all of your info. That's it. And the reality is based on, you know, experience is you actually probably and realistically can cover 80% of those requests and questions. So imagine if your customer support team can only handle the remaining 20%. That's already amazing, right? And this kind of leads me to the second use case, which is very similar if you think about it, but it's different, at least the way I see it in the real estate and construction space, which is dynamic FAQs with AI co-pilots. Now, it might have a very similar interface, or this is just going to be a separate web page on your website or your app where a person just asks a question. Now, imagine your tenant moves into your flat or house and then says, you know, what's the closest park or what's the closest shop or anything like that. So in this case, this is not really going to be a sort of two way conversation. This is just going to be your tenant asking questions and then the co-pilot getting back to the person and saying, hey, this is 300 meters away. This is 400 meters away. So it has a lot of similarities, obviously, with the chat bot. But again, this could be just like a very traditional FAQ section. You keep updating it with new knowledge every single week. And same as previously, can be done five hours, six hours max. And that will cost you, my estimate is definitely under $500 if you hire any freelancers or even do it internally. Then it's technically, well, free, right? You pay people, but it's free. Now onto the next one. This one is very interesting because we've been working previously with people and real estate people are saying that they're getting a lot of questions from tenants asking all of the legal stuff, right? And the real estate agents are coming back to their tenants and saying, hey guys, everything is in the contract. And this is where, I think this is genius. And again, very, very simple. There are a lot of ready tools that you can use on a subscription basis, cost you like five, $10 a month, which is essentially AI driven document handling. In simple words, this means that you send a contract to your tenant, the tenant opens it, and instead of going through 20 pages, the person can ask any of the questions regarding the contract, any of the very legal, you know, detailed bits and get an answer straight away. Or I've seen these tools that basically summarize the key points and all of the documents, because I'll be honest with you, like I, I'm pretty lazy when it comes to reading those documents as well. So I would really prefer, you know, to save my time 
and actually just have that AI driven uh, document handling tool summarize all of the key legal points and I think that's better for you. You know, tenants will come back quicker to you, sign the papers, that's it. In terms of the setup and time, maximum takes like an hour, costs you five to $10 and that's pretty much it. Very, very simple to do and very, very simple to use. Now, the next point is going to be very, very basic, but I guess as a person, I rented a new place last year in London. And again, I was looking for, you know, the perfect dream flat, but it was interesting for me to actually even see that not so many agencies, companies actually generate cool images using any of the AI tools. And that brings, you know, back this very valid point that don't underestimate the power of these AI image generation tools. Obviously you need the right freelancer, you know, to use it properly. Or again, if you have the expertise internally, but then imagine you have a unfurnished flat, you generate all of the images. There you go. You now have these nice images. And I think it's just a lot easier to sell when you have just great visual stuff on your website or leaflets or whatever you're using to promote that flat or that house. And it's not just photos. It could be videos as well. But again, there are a lot of tools that you can use, very easy to get going. I think the, you know, as always, the devil is in the detail. The hardest bit is actually being good at it. But again, in terms of hiring people, look, I would say five hours is definitely enough to generate content, images, videos, probably for a month. There you go, get going, and it looks way, way nicer and doesn't cost you much. And then the fifth case is actually, you know, slightly similar, I would say, is creating virtual tools and interior designs using some of the tools. It's been insane actually how now a lot of the construction companies and, you know, real estate companies are generating these virtual tools and essentially selling the flat or the house before even building it. I mean, I, I think I think this is just so, so cool. Relatively cheap to do, takes a week or two to set it up and use some of the tools. 99% of them are on a subscription basis and that's pretty much it. You can get going straight away. Now, let's talk about the second category because I think we've went through some of the simple ones that you, know, you can implement literally this week or next week. But these ones that we're going to talk about now, I'm going to call them complex integrations, right? The reason why I'm saying complex is because you can't do it in most cases. You can't just use a you know ready off the shelf subscription service. You can't just do something no code. This is something more complex and requires more developers to build something. So number one here is complex AI bots with integrations and functions. Let's keep it simple for now again, because I want you to use this video more as a you know inspiration video rather than a very technical video. So imagine you have a chat bot very similar like we discussed it in the beginning. But then imagine you want the chatbot to pass all of the information to your CRM, and then you want the CRM to pass all of the information to your real estate agent. And then you also want that system to follow up automatically with a real estate agent to you know, send a notification and say something like, hey, did you actually call this person who asked about the rent payment for next month? So you see, in this case, you're not just building a simple chatbot. You're building a chatbot that has a lot of dependencies, right? It is connected with different parts of your business as well, whether it's a website, whether it's an app, whether it's a CRM system or something else. Again, my very high level estimate, because it's always hard to say, you know, how much time and money it will take you. Based on my experience, I would say you need at least two months to do it properly. But if you're trying to look for a solution, you know, with all of the bells and whistles, four months. So if you're looking for something that, you know, will help you like really, really automate your business, I would say two to four months. Again, we're talking about very complex solutions there. Now on to the next one. I really like this one because I mentioned earlier, this is something that I've been doing last year when I was looking for a new flat in London, AI enhanced property search. This is the best thing I honestly think from a consumer perspective, because no matter what you're doing, whether you're selling flats, houses, I don't know, vacation homes, the best thing here is actually letting the person find something in one minute. I can't even, you know, emphasize enough. I got so, so tired, you know, going through all of these pages. Each website has 60 pages, all of these listings, and it just annoys me a lot. What you can do with all of your data, again, no matter what you're selling, is build solutions so that then you can essentially, let's call it smart filters, right? Or AI search, however you want call it. I go onto this website and I say, I'm looking for a flat that is maximum 10 minutes from a park and five minutes away from a tube station. And there you go. Instead of me spending an hour searching for that, you know, I see these five options. 
perfect. It's a lot easier for me to choose and it's, I think it's a lot easier for you to actually sell to that customer because you're not wasting their time and you're just giving them the relevant options and that's it. So I think this is very critical because it changes your business model a lot. Instead of you spending a lot of time with a potential customer, you know, closing them, you now essentially giving them the very curated search. They choose one of them and that's it. The challenge here is very similar to the chatbot system. Our estimate is that it takes two to five months, even longer than a chatbot, you know, to build something very, very decent. Again, we're talking about very complex filters that rely on all of your data, because again, we're not going to go into the technical details, but essentially by taking all of the data you have, then you need to clean it up, and then you need to build an AI search that will use that data to generate these very curated results. But again, very, very doable, not something super complex, because there will be one use case at the end, which I think is, well, not I think, it is it is super complex, but very doable. And if you have the expertise internally or you're ready to hire someone, I would definitely do it. Next one, automated valuation models. Now this sounds, I know, a bit probably too smart and a bit vague, but you've probably seen it in the hotel space, right? You go on booking.com or you go on any other websites and they, they say something like, hey, there's a price match. If you purchase on our website, you're getting 5% off or we're going to beat the lowest price that you have found on the internet. Recently, what many of the real estate companies are doing, they're essentially using publicly available data to analyze current offerings on the market. I'll keep it simple, but imagine there's a listing in a certain area. Your competitor would actually analyze that data and then in real time, they would update the info on the website to basically you know, either increase the price or decrease the price. And this is something that is happening because again, AI is capable of taking the data that is available out there on the internet and then you can use it to adjust your offering, adjust your pricing, and just change all of the offerings in real time. Because that is one of the ways essentially for you to either make money or lose money. Because very often what happens in the real estate and construction business is you're not responding to the like very, very real time market trends as quickly as you need to. But again, very doable and feasible to build something like a web app that analyzes real time information and offerings on the market and then updates your system automatically depending on what you're selling. Now onto the, you know, more more of the complex ones, I would say. Still not super complex, that's going to be the last use case, but tenant, property, and contractor management automation. What this means is most likely you're going to build a centralized AI dashboard where you have all of the processes automated, digitized, and essentially everything that is happening within your business, you will be able to see it on a dashboard. You know, all of the market trends, all of the payments, all of the contractors, all of the availability, and all of the relevant data. So see it essentially as identifying 20 processes within your business, digitizing them, right? And then building a centralized dashboard that is able to predict things. One of the obvious ones I would say is AI powered pricing. Essentially, you'll be able to, let's say you're renting out a flat, right? And then if you have all of the prices for the last year or so, then you can predict the future prices and maybe the system, the dashboard will say, hey, you actually need to decrease the price or you need to increase the price depending on all of the data that you have. Now, the last one is predicting future trends using global data. This is something that massive real estate companies do. And unfortunately, this is only available if you have the expertise and the resources to find it. But imagine using some of the global data to understand areas that will have better quality of air, which parts of the city are going to grow and so on and so on. So we're talking here about building essentially fundamental AI models to understand very global future trends in real estate and construction. This is pretty much it for now. So these are the 10 use cases. And again, I want you to use this video more as a inspiration rather than a very technical guide, you know, to what you actually need to build. And that's it. I hope you found this very, very useful. Again, figure out the use cases first, then identify the tools that you need to use, not vice versa. But hope this was helpful. Keep building. Talk soon.